yes, yes, of course. But if you could just find me a temporary opening as a substitute, I'll work without pay and I'll bring my own lunch. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Bad news again, Mr. Wade? I have checked with every school in the county and none of them has an opening for me. I I've got to put in my annual two weeks classroom teaching or lose my professional standing. Good news, everybody. I just spoke to the headmaster at Murfreesburg Military Academy about Dwayne's problem. And he promised to find an opening for Mr. Witt. Oh, that's wonderful, Mrs. Tate. When? Next spring. Oh, well, that's too late. I've got to get my teaching in this year. Well, you needn't shout at me about it. <laughs> well, Mr. Witt's not shouting at you, Miss Tate. It's, it's just that when folks get nervous up inside, they get testy-like. Uh, Tammy, suppose you let me draw my own conclusions about the situation without your interference. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tammy isn't interfering, she's just trying to be helpful. Of course, and so was I, which was a mistake. <laughs> Come on, Gloria. Simply cannot bear it any longer. The way Charm defends that girl, no matter what she says. Tammy's just trying to be helpful. Mr. Brent always stands up for Tammy and her river people. Well, if I have to see much more of them, I'll go out of my mind. What are you doing here? Howdy, Miss Tate. I was just over at your house inquiring after Gloria, and they told me you was both over here, and <laughs> by golly, here he is. <laughs> How observant. I, I wish you to be accepted, Miss Gloria, as an expression of my sentiments to you. Oh, Chris! Have you lost your mind? Get these creatures out of here! Hey, folks, here's the sack of hogs for you to go as clean as it's present. Did you hear me? Get these, these swine out of here. Yes, ma'am, Miss Tate. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 about how a fella in love ought to express his sentiments with the litter. Well, Cousin Cletus, if you ain't got a head on you like a tack. Hmm? I, I said a, a letter, not a litter, a, a rotten letter, not a pig litter. Oh. Let me get these pigs collected before they turn Mr. Brent's house into a sty. I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Oh. Come to think of it, uh, I did wonder why you told me to just stick them in any old mailbox. <laughs> It's a sight to be seen, Grandpa. Miss Tate and Gloria hollering fit to kill, and Cletus, Hank, and all them pigs scooting all over the house. Here's to me, Cletus, a body ought to know the difference betwixt a love letter and a parcel of hogs. I know it. Trouble with me is I'm about as dumb-witted as a duck trying to hatch a doorknob. Set that to music and dance a jig to it. Now, I ain't gonna stand for you low-rating cousin Cletus like that. He's got a heap of good points. It's just these bad points that ain't so good. But Tammy, ignorance ain't no excuse for ignorance. Now, what Cletus ought to do is get himself some book learning so he wouldn't embarrass us with the stuff he don't know. That's a fact truth, and if I knew where I could get me some learning, I surely would. So would a heap of folks around here. Great day in the morning. Mr. Witt! Oh, no! That would be a nightmare. I simply cannot teach a class of ignorant swamp people. Oh, oh well, I, I'm sorry, Tammy, but I cannot it, it teach... It seems a... to me ignorant folks would be the ones that need teaching the most. She's absolutely right, Wayne. But what about a classroom? Grandpa offered the loan of the house, Bolton. There's, there's plenty of people wanting some of your learning. Oh, no, 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 that, no. That, that would just be, be impossible, no. Dwayne, there isn't another teaching job available within a hundred miles of here. I know. Then you will? 
Well, I guess there isn't any other way. Oh, joyful jubilee! Something tells me this is gonna be an experience us river folks will never forget. Something tells me I'll never forget it either. <laughs> Oh, what a, a quaint bell. <laughs> uh, are the uh, pupils all assembled? Some is and some ain't. Folks coming from miles around. <laughs> How rewarding. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I guess that I'd better uh, get inside and put things in order. <laughs> Good idea with all the learning we got to do every second count. Yes. <laughs> Where are you figuring on going, Hank? Is that where the teacher's gonna be? Oh, not till you paid your tuition, yeah. My what? Ain't nobody can get learning without the pay's tuition. How comes I gotta pay two issues when they ain't but one of me? <laughs> Way go. How much is one issue? What do you got? Well, let me see, I see what I got a, uh, I got some fish hooks. The dirty old dime and a soap spoon? Well, it's uh, gonna cost you the dirty old dime. <laughs> Look at this Tarleton. What kind of low-flung finagling are you up to? Me? You. I saw you take that dime off, Hank. He said that's what I gotta give him to go in here to teach him. Well, give it back. Hmm. Now, suppose you tell me how much you took off the other folks. Oh, come on now, Tammy. <laughs> how much? Fifteen cents. I was just... Hey, 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 now, what you doing? Taking you inside to make sure you're telling the truth. <laughs> uh, excuse me for coming in, Mr. Whip, but I just gotta get to the bottom of something. Uh, how many of you here got swindled by Cletus before he came in the door? Miss Satterberry? Me and Finney here paid him a quarter to get in. That's right. Twenty-five and twenty-five make fifty, not fifteen. Is that a fact? <laughs> well... Just go show you how much I need to get me some learning. All right, all right. Could we please have the class come to order? Just as soon as Cletus gives that money back. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Now you study hard and get learned up handsome. Bye. 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 Uh, now then, uh, good morning, class. Uh, morning, 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 morning. Morning. For our first lesson today, let us begin at the beginning. Oh, no, that's well, a good place to start. Good yeah. start then. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what, do, what mixture do you have in your pipe? This here is called Old Tumbleweed. Uh, what's in it? Old Tumbleweed. Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, uh, let's start with the lesson in uh, mathematics. Hear that, everybody? We'll begin. Yeah. Read, Larry, we all our way! <laughs> Heading for learning, Spark! Here we go! Uh, uh, attention. <laughs> um, now, let us test your arithmetic acuity. <laughs> um, uh, here's a simple problem. Uh, if A can pitch three loads of hay in two hours, how many loads of hay can he pitch in six hours? Uh, Mr. Tarleton. Uh, uh, Mr. Witt, uh, just what kind of a man is this A fellow? Well, what difference does it make what kind of a person he is? Well, now, it makes a heap. Like, for instance, maybe he pitches him three loads in two hours, like I say, but then gets tuckered out and starts to lean in on his pitchfork, nursing his lumbago. <laughs> oh, uh, well, let us assume that A pitches hay at the same rate for all six hours. Now, does he work by the hour or by the job? <laughs> <laughs> Will you please stop? with these meaningless questions. <laughs> oh, we got to know that before we start calculating, Mr. Witt. Because if he works by the hour, he's going to loaf around some, try to build his pay up. Contrary wise, if he's working by the day, he's going to hustle to get through. <laughs> Once and for all, will you take my word for it that A works at a steady rate? Don't he even go fetch himself a drink of water? No, he does not. Well, it ain't none of my business, but that there A fella's gonna get himself a powerful case of sunstroke. Oh, now stop that. Speedy, he didn't even say whether or not the sun was a shining. Is the sun shining or ain't it, Mr. Whip? I don't know if the sun is shining. And I don't care if the sun... Oh, oh. <laughs> right, excuse me for a moment while I collect my equilibrium. <laughs> 
Now, a verb indicates a, a, a movement or, or action, whereas a noun is simply a name. You say a name, Mr. Witt? That's right. I never hear tell of it, did you, Feeney? No, uh, I know just about everybody in these parts, but I never met up with nobody by the name of now. Oh, no, 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 no. wait a minute. There's a family in Paulette County by the name of Brown. You reckon it means Brown? Oh, no, no, wait. Well, maybe it means uh, one of them front names instead of a behind one. No, well, you please. mean like a noun, Brown? <laughs> no, no, you don't. Is it a front name, Mr. Witt, or a behind name? It isn't any kind of a name. <laughs> it ain't. What you said. Now, just never mind what he said. This is Mr. Witt's first day of teaching, and he might be a bit confused. Uh, I am not uh, confused. I, I, I mean, a, a noun is a name, but it isn't actually a name. I mean, I, I, I mean, a name is a noun, but it isn't really a name. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Oh, oh. I, I don't know what I mean. Well, if and you don't know, how you planning on teaching us? I just don't know. Uh, the class is dismissed. <laughs> incredible, Wayne. The whole story is simply incredible. I wish John had been there to see for himself just how stupid these people really are. Uh, yes, in an effort to rid myself of the tobacco and hog liver smell, tomorrow I've arranged an outdoor excursion. An excursion? Uh, yes, I borrowed a power launch from a friend of mine at the yacht club. We'll go on a field trip to Schnupps Island. Schnupps Island? Uh, there's an old Indian rock quarry there and a large assortment of wild plant life. I, I'm giving a rather... Charming little lecture on botany and geology. Suppose I tell John that I'm thinking of reactivating the old quarry on the island and need his advice. He'll come along and learn more about swamp people than they'll ever learn about botany. Oh, Mama, what a delightfully cunning plan. Yes, I'm rather proud of it myself, dear. <laughs> Here we are, time to the minute. I thought we was going to Snuff's Island. That's right. Well, Snuff's Island's a better part of a mile and a half up that way. Are you impugning the accuracy of my navigational aids? <laughs> no, I well, was then, no. What are you getting at? Well, this ain't Snuff's Island. This here's Bobcat Island. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> All's ashore that's going ashore. <laughs> so. What kind of a knot you tying there, Mr. Witt? Oh, uh, this is the approved uh, mooring hitch as described in the yachting manual. Well, you know, if I was you, seeing as how hard that current's pulling, I'd use me a river bottom crab tangle with the double loop and the three-way wind. <laughs> but you are not I, Cletus. You are the pupil, and I am the teacher. <laughs> now then, uh, who can tell me what this plant is? <laughs> Lance, Mr. Witt, you mean you're a teacher? You know what that is? Of course I know. I'm asking if you know. Oh, yes, Mr. Tarleton. That there's a stinkweed. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, this is a specimen of Carbunctus florendentes. You mean that that piece of stinkweed done up and changed its name? <laughs> Poor Dwayne, it's so terribly difficult to deal with total ignorance. Uh, uh... This is a specimen of calcareous uh, turfa. It is porous lava of antediluvian origin, probably formed by volcanic eruptions in the Pleistocene period. <laughs> uh, now then, uh, uh, Cletus Tarleton. Hmm? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, what is this that I'm holding in my hand? Uh, rock. <laughs> the depth of their stupidity. They don't even seem to hear what's being said. Cletus, would you mind telling me where your mind was when I was discussing this object? Well, I was just thinking of how pretty Gloria looked standing next to this here toad wart bush. <laughs> really? Uh, since my uh, pupil seems so unusually distractible, uh, uh, Miss Tate, perhaps you better uh, uh, excuse yourself. I'll go back to the boat and get the lunch hamper for Mom and Mr. Brandt. 
Uh, and now then, Cletus, if, if you can possibly focus on what I'm saying. This is a specimen of... Mama! Mama! Uh, Mr. Brand! The boat's gone! What? Are you sure? Yes! Well, that's impossible! Come on! It isn't even in sight! Well, it must have drifted around that bend. Ain't no wonder with nothing to hold it against that current, except in a yacht club slip knot. <laughs> All right, everyone, attention. There is no cause for alarm. If you'll just follow my instructions. Uh, begging your pardon, Mr. Witt, uh, I think it's time we started taking instructions from somebody else. <laughs> Mr. Carlton, please remember that I am the teacher. Oh, I'll remember that, all right, but this ain't a book problem no more. What with the passel of us marooned here with no roof over our heads or no food. Now, Mr. Tarleton, I hardly think we're in any danger. Uh, not if we get us some shelter and something to eat, ma'am. Shelter on a delightful day like today? <laughs> well, the winds change. Might blow up a storm. Was that thunder? Well, this is ridiculous. Standing around here talking about the weather, I'll... <laughs> I'll go climb a tree. I wouldn't go shinnying up none of these trees, Mr. Whip. What's that? Well, they weren't just a yarning when they called this here place Bobcat Island. This is Schnupps Island. <laughs> Suit yourself, but uh, them Schnupps and them trees sure looks like Bobcats to me. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Are we gonna have to stay here all night? Well, it depends on when they start looking for us. Could be a whole week. A week? Oh, no! Do you think we can take care of ourselves for that length of time? It's just a matter of... It's a matter of do the best job we can do in the shortest time possible, and everybody throwing their backs into it. <laughs> then suppose you tell us how you'd like us to begin. Now, Hank and Cletus here can go get some upright saplings for posts. Uh, uh, you, Mrs. Tate, and Mr. Brent there can go collect kindling wood. John, are you going to allow these people to give us orders? Yes, I am. In fact, I, I'd appreciate it if they would. Well, I most certainly would not. Come, Gloria. And I am going with them. <laughs> oh, Sheriff. Sheriff, you found sign of them? Yep. I found their boat drifting off McGruber's Point. Well, how'd they get way down there? Tammy, I don't know how they got nowhere, but I do know they never got to Schnupp's Island. Well, how do you know that? I went and looked. There's nothing on that island but a wild jackass and a Dominic or hen. Dear glory. You get that fire stirred up while me and Sofa hunts up some breakfast. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, where do you suppose they're going? Oh, let them say something about breakfast. Where are they going to find any food around here? Why, well, from nature, my dear. Nature, the bountiful provider. Oh. 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 What's the matter? I think the bountiful provider provided him with a crick in his back. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> I will venture forth and find us something nutritional to eat. <laughs> Mama, how do you feel? Same as you do, probably. Then you have my sympathy. <laughs> what do we got, Petey? A wild rice, a wild onions, wild yams, and wild gooseberries. They sure ought to taste wild. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Roast turkeys stuffed with wild rice, fresh nuts, wild onion and dandelion salad, baked jams, fried eggs, and wild gooseberries. That ought to fill the hole in our stomach, huh? <laughs> hey, Marka, look at that. Uh, here we are, breakfast. <laughs> what is it? Uh, the, these are called health berries. I recognize them from my botanical studies. Oh, good, I'm starving. Well, that tenderfoot lunkhead. <laughs> Don't eat them things. What do you mean, don't eat them? These are called health berries because of their nutritional value. 
Well, we call them dog berries because they make you sicker than a dog. Now, if you eat them things, they'll give you the nine-day whim-wham. What is that you're cooking that smells so good? Oh, that's just turkey and sweet potatoes. It ought to be good. My, they certainly have things worked out well. So could we if we weren't tied up with a health berry hunter. Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Are we going to starve to death? Uh, perhaps we ought to take a little walk. Mama, you're thinking up one of your wonderful ideas. And as long as we're walking, we might as well walk in the direction of that turkey. But what's your plan? I believe it's called unconditional surrender. <laughs> Oh, what a divine aroma. Uh, you folks planning on joining us? Well, thank you. How hospitable. You're right welcome. Them that eats has got to work. I see. Uh, well, I just love when guests are allowed to help out, don't you, Gloria? <laughs> Good. You and Miss Gloria there can help Mr. Brent collect some kindling wood. The Schnapps Island Kindling Committee will kindly follow me. <laughs> That includes you, Miss Quinn. <laughs> Mighty tasty, ain't it? Yeah. Delicious turkey, isn't it, Lavinia? It may be turkey to you, but it's pro to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy! Tammy Talton! Hey, Tammy! Oh, what is it, Sheriff? They're all right, Tammy. They're just fine. Coming down the river on a raft. Oh. Plum out of my mind with worry months. Oh, shucks. It weren't nothing, Tammy. <sighs> yes. Thanks to your grandfather and his friends. We learned a lot. It was a real education. <laughs> right, Lavinia? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that makes me feel right prideful for you to say things like that about my folks, Mr. Brand. Mr. Whit must be a right fine teacher, huh, Grandpa? <laughs> I hear you have two itty bitty lessons and already you're doing the educating. <laughs> that learning sure works wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very well, class. Here we are in our schoolroom once more, ready to add to our store of knowledge. <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> the class will please come to order. <laughs> All right, class. First off, we's going to review what we learned in our nature study. Now then, who here can tell me what this is that I got in my hand? Mr. Witt, uh, that there is stinkweed. <laughs> 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 